Hi guys, this is Nicole, and I just want to talk about giving an update about something. <sighs> this week, I really came to grips with something. My friends really like me. <clears throat> that may not seem like a revelation to some of you, but I've been um, around people who I love and they love me, but they don't really like me as much. I might be annoying to them, like I've heard that I'm bossy, I've heard that I'm you know, kind of overbearing, a little bit extra emotional. Um, I'm kind of like one of those people that gets really excited about certain things and wants to kind of like go get, I don't know, just like gung-ho and crazy about stuff. And, um, you know, some people that I'm around don't like that as much or, you know. And um, I'm realizing that my friends actually like who I am. You know, this week I had a friend that had an amazing victory and I was so excited for her. And I told her, I said, look, you know, normally I would um, be screaming from the top of the hills about this, you know, just like so excited, like even posted it on Facebook and stuff and just like really excited because we're part of a, a positivity leadership group. And she was like, oh, go ahead, girl. I don't mind. And I'm like, oh, OK, because I'm thinking that, you know, like normally my family members would be like, oh, that's just too extra. That's not your news to share. And I'm like, oh, well. So I was kind of holding back uh, with my friends and my friends was like, my girlfriend was like, no girl, please, that's, 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 that's wonderful. I would love for you to be that excited for me. Um, I had another friend that had some, another, some other great news going on, you know, and I called just to see how everything was going. And, you know, I told her, I said, I don't want to be too overbearing or too, you know, um, you know, like bothering you too much. Um, because, you know, traditionally I've, dealt with family and some of them don't like that I might be like you know like really like calling like, well, how's everything going is everything okay that kind of thing and um just checking in to see how things are going with different things um with their life and uh, my girlfriend was like girl please I that's good you know she's actually like no that's cool I'm I, I appreciate that you do and um I had that experience a number of times with different people and probably about four different people, actually five different people. And, you know, what it's really telling me is that I just need to be myself at all times with the people that really like me. Actually, all the time. I don't even screw the people that don't like me. But, um, you know, I got to be me no matter what. Like, even if they don't like me, it doesn't really matter. Like, my family loves me. They love me, like, regardless, period. They might not always like how I'm acting or who I'm being, but that doesn't really, that doesn't really matter because like we accept each other for who we are, then it is what it is. But I realized I was limiting myself and holding my own self back with, with people who actually do like who I am because I'm thinking that, oh, I shouldn't act that way with them. I shouldn't be that way with them. And the truth is that the people that really like you, really like you. <laughs> I know that may not seem like such a great revelation, but for somebody who has felt at times alone, who has felt that she didn't fit in in um, the places that she wanted to be the most, it means the world that there are a lot of people who like me and love me for who I am. And not only that, they wanna spend time with me and they want me to be me without pretending to be less than I am. And I so appreciate that. I so appreciate that. And all this came from surrendering everything to God, including my dreams, my desires, my um, my will. I'm just handing it over to God. And so I just want somebody else out there that if you are holding on to anything, if you're holding on to the belief that you are not worthy, if you're holding on to the belief that you are ugly or fat or stupid or lazy or whatever it might be, let it go. Do the work to fix your soul. Do the work to fix your mind so you don't believe that anymore. Do the work to know that you are good. There's a scripture, and I don't know what it is, but it says... Um, God made the world it was like in Genesis somewhere and it's like God made this and he made that and it was good and he made like the trees and the water or whatever and he said it was good 
and negate he made you know people and humans and it was good i mean he made you he made me and it was good he made us exactly how he wanted us to be so who am i to ignore his creation who am i to suppress myself because god made me and god made you so let's be ourselves i hope this helps someone along their journey to success i know it's helped me so live your legacy goodbye